Chapter 63 through 72 of Psalms, American Standard Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sam Stinson. Chapter 63 O God, Thou art my God, earnestly will I seek Thee. My soul thirsteth for Thee, my flesh longeth for Thee. In a dry and weary land where no water is, so have I looked upon thee in the sanctuary, to see thy power and thy glory, because thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee, so will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches, for thou hast been my help, and in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, the right hand upholdeth me, but those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the power of the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Every one that sweareth by him shall glory. For the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. End of chapter 63. Chapter 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of evildoers. From the tumult of the workers of iniquity who have wet their tongue like a sword, and have aimed their arrows even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret places at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil purpose. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, Who will see them? They search out iniquities. We have accomplished, say they, a diligent search. And the inward thought in the heart of every one is deep. But God will shoot at them. With an arrow suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall be made to stumble, their own tongue being against them. All that see them shall wag the head, and all men shall fear. And they shall declare the work of God, and shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in Jehovah, and shall take refuge in him and all the upright in heart shall glory. End of chapter 64. Chapter 65. Praise waiteth for thee, O God in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, thou wilt forgive them. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest, and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, thy holy temple. By terrible things thou wilt answer us in righteousness, O God of our salvation, thou that art the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that are afar off upon the sea, who by his strength setteth fast the mountains being girded about with might, who stilleth the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at thy tokens. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. Thou visitest the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enrichest it. The river of God is full of water. Thou providest them grain when thou hast so prepared the earth. Thou waterest its furrows abundantly. Thou settlest the ridges thereof. Thou makest it soft with showers. Thou blessest the springing thereof. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy paths drop fatness. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness, and the hills are girded with joy. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with grain. They shout for joy. They also sing. End of chapter 65. 
Chapter 66 Make a joyful noise unto God, all the earth. Sing forth the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto God, How terrible are thy works! Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee, and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. Salah. Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the river on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruleth by his might forever. His eyes observe the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Silah. O oh, bless our God, ye peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, who holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. For thou, O oh God, hast proved us, thou hast tried us, as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net, thou layest a sore burden upon our loins, thou didst cause men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. I will come into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which my lips uttered, and my mouth spake when I was in distress. I will offer unto thee burnt offerings of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Silah, come in here, all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he hath done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But verily God hath heard, he hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who hath not turned away my prayer, nor his loving kindness from me. End of chapter 66. Chapter 67. God be merciful unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, Silah, that thy way may be known upon earth, thy salvation among all nations. Let the peoples praise thee, O God, let all the peoples praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou wilt judge the peoples with equity, and govern the nations upon earth, Silah. Let the peoples praise thee, O God. Let all the peoples praise thee. The earth hath yielded its increase. God, even our own God, will bless us. God will bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. End of chapter 67. Chapter 68. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melteth before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad, let them exult before God. Yea, let them rejoice with gladness. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Cast up a highway for him that rideth through the deserts. His name is Jehovah, and exult ye before him. A father of the fatherless, and a judge of the widows, is God in his holy habitation. God setteth the solitary in families. He bringeth out the prisoners into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a parched land. O God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness, Silah, the earth trembled, the heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God. Yon, Sinai, trembled at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Thou, O God, didst send a plentiful rain. Thou didst confirm thine inheritance when it was weary. Thy congregation dwelt therein. Thou, O God, didst prepare of thy goodness for the poor. The Lord giveth the word. The women that publish the tidings are a great host. Kings of armies flee, they flee. And she that tarrieth at home divideth the spoil. When ye lie among the sheepfolds, it is as the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her pinions with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings therein, it was as when it snowed in Zalman, a mountain of God, 
is the mountain of Bashan. A high mountain is the mountain of Bashan. Why look ye askance, ye high mountains, at the mountain which God hath desired for his abode? Yea, Jehovah will dwell in it for ever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands upon thousands. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the sanctuary. Thou hast descended on high. Thou hast led away captives. Thou hast received gifts among men. Yea, among the rebellious also, that Jehovah God might dwell with them. Blessed be the Lord, who daily beareth our burden, even the God who is our salvation, Silah. God is unto us a God of deliverances, and unto Jehovah the Lord belongeth escape from death. But God will smite through the head of his enemies, the hairy scalp of such a one as goeth on still in his guiltiness. The Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan, I will bring them again from the depths of the sea, that thou mayest crush them, dipping thy foot in blood that the tongue of thy dogs may have its portion from thine enemies. They have seen thy goings, O God, even the goings of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. The singers went before, the minstrels followed after, in the midst of the damsels playing with timbrels. Bless ye God in the congregations, even the Lord, ye that are of the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin, their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, the princes of Zebulun, the princes of Naphtali, thy God hath commanded thy strength. Strengthen, O God, that which thou hast wrought for us, because of thy temple at Jerusalem. Kings shall bring presents unto thee. Rebuke the wild beast of the reeds, the multitude of the bulls with the calves of the peoples, trampling underfoot the pieces of silver. He hath scattered the peoples that delight in war. Prince shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall haste to stretch out her hands unto God. Sing unto God, ye kingdoms of the earth. O oh, sing praises unto the Lord, Silah, to him that rideth upon the heaven of heavens, which are of old. Lo, he uttereth his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe ye strength unto God. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the skies. O God, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The God of Israel, he giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. End of chapter 68. Chapter 69. Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dried. Mine eyes fail while I wait for my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would cut me off, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. That which I took not away, I have to restore. O God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait for thee be put to shame through me, O Lord Jehovah of hosts. Let not those that seek thee be brought to dishonor through me, O God of Israel, because for thy sake I have borne reproach. Shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thy house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. When I made sackcloth my clothing, I became a byword unto them. They that sit in the gate talk of me and I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Jehovah, in an acceptable time. O God, in the abundance of thy loving kindness, answer me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. 
let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters let not the water flood overwhelm me neither let the deep swallow me up and let not the pit shut its mouth upon me answer me o jehovah for thy loving kindness is good according to the multitude of thy tender mercies turn thou unto me and hide not thy face from thy servant for i am in distress answer me speedily draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it ransom me because of mine enemies thou knowest my reproach and my shame and my dishonour mine adversaries are all before thee reproach hath broken my heart and i am full of heaviness and i looked for some to take pity but there was none and for comforters but i found none they gave me also gall for my food and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink let their table before them become a snare and when they are in peace let it become a trap let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see and make their loins continually to shake pour out thine indignation upon them and let the fierceness of thine anger overtake them let their habitation be desolate let none dwell in their tents for they persecute him whom thou hast smitten and they tell of the sorrow of those whom thou hast wounded and iniquity unto their iniquity and let them not come into thy righteousness let them be blotted out of the book of life and not be written with the righteous but i am poor and sorrowful let thy salvation o god set me up on high i will praise the name of god with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving and it will please jehovah better than an ox or a bullock that hath horns and hoofs the meek have seen it and are glad ye that seek after god let your heart live for jehovah heareth the needy and despiseth not his prisoners let heaven and earth praise him the seas and everything that moveth therein for god will save zion and build the cities of judah and they shall abide there and have it in possession the seed also of his servants shall inherit it and they that love his name shall dwell therein end of chapter 69 chapter 70 make haste o god to deliver me make haste to help me o jehovah let them be put to shame and confounded that seek after my soul let them be turned backward and brought to dishonor that delight in my hurt let them be turned back by reason of their shame that say aha aha let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee and let such as love thy salvation say continually let god be magnified but i am poor and needy make haste unto me o god thou art my help and my deliverer o jehovah make no tarrying end of chapter seventy chapter seventy one in thee o jehovah do i take refuge let me never be put to shame deliver me in thy righteousness and rescue me bow down thine ear unto me and save me be thou to me a rock of habitation whereunto i may continually resort thou hast given commandment to save me for thou art my rock and my fortress rescue me o my god out of the hand of the wicked out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man for thou art my hope o lord jehovah thou art my trust from my youth by thee have i been holden up from the womb thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels my praise shall be continually of thee i am as a wonder unto many but thou art my strong refuge my mouth shall be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day cast me not off in the time of old age forsake me not when my strength faileth for mine enemies speak concerning me and they that watch for my soul take counsel together saying god hath forsaken him pursue and take him for there is none to deliver o god be not far from me o my god make haste to help me let them be put to shame and consumed 
that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually, and will praise thee yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of thy righteousness, and of thy salvation all the day, for I know not the numbers thereof. I will come with the mighty acts of the Lord Jehovah. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Yea, even when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have declared thy strength unto the next generation, thy might to every one that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high. Thou who hast done great things, O God, who is like unto thee? Thou who hast showed us many and sore troubles, wilt quicken us again, and wilt bring us up again from the depths of the earth. Increase thou my greatness, and turn again and comfort me. I will also praise thee with the psaltery, even thy truth, O my God. Unto thee will I sing praises with the harp. O thou holy one of Israel, my lips shall shout for joy when I sing praises unto thee, and my soul which thou hast redeemed. My tongue also shall talk of thy righteousness all the day long, for they are put to shame, for they are confounded, that seek my hurt. End of chapter 71. Chapter 72. Give the king thy judgments, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He will judge thy people with righteousness, and thy poor with justice. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the hills in righteousness. He will judge the poor of the people, he will save the children of the needy, and will break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear thee while the sun endureth, and so long as the moon throughout all generations. He will come down like rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his days shall the righteous flourish, an abundance of peace, till the moon be no more. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, and from the river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall render tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him, for he will deliver the needy when he crieth and the poor that hath no helper. He will have pity on the poor and needy, and the souls of the needy he will save. He will redeem their soul from oppression and violence, and precious will their blood be in his sight. And they shall live, and to him shall be given of the gold of Sheba. And men shall pray for him continually. They shall bless him all the day long. There shall be abundance of grain in the earth upon the top of the mountain. The fruit thereof shall shake like Lebanon, and they of the city shall flourish like grass of the earth. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him happy. Blessed be Jehovah God, the God of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things, and blessed be his glorious name forever and let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and amen. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended.